Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. I am Paul Lee and we are making our way to a clothing store because there's a bunch of raiders in there that have been bothering a settlement and I said I'd sort it out. And yeah, we're just currently on the way to hunt them down. Now, we killed this ship, it was filled with raiders. Got a little bit of good loot. But um, I need to get to the shore here. I think once I'm on the shore, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my uh, radiation effects. I have a feeling I'm going to need as much help as possible for this fight. Let's see, do I have a lot of right away? I hope I do. Let's have a look. I've got a lot of drugs, I might be able to use those during the fight. Okay, right away. And do I have some food to eat? There we go. Full health, lovely. That's what we'd like to see. Okay. Place we need is this way. I've got Preston, my companion, with me. I don't know where he's gone, though. Just saw him. Okay, he just walked. You saw him in the distance there. Alright, let's go. Weapon at the ready. I'm going to try and do a bit more sneaking around. Because when I think about this, I am playing on a hard difficulty, which is pretty easy for most, but... I've got to make sure I don't die to something stupid. We've got raiders here in a turret. I missed. I think I got something over here. He's got I don't know how I'm missing. That's not good. There we go. Oh. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. I need to get close. I don't think that can hit me. I think it's facing the opposite way. Okay. Now, I believe I have a 10mm pistol. I would like to use that. Because I've got plenty of ammo. We're going to replace the stump nose I have because, honestly, that's not really helpful at this moment in time. I need to get up there. Let's go back around. Come on, dude, move. Ooh, hello. Missile launcher. Took it. I guess that was a trap. It was going to set something exploding, probably all of this that we're basically on, so we've got to be careful. I'm taking the knuckles. I'm going to go ahead and replace the security baton with them, because I've messed around with them. I've messed around on other characters with the uh, with the old unarmed and it's a lot of fun especially when animations kick in so maybe I'll make that my sort of main sort of skill to use anyway we've got a rocket launcher which is good now I don't have many shells for my shotgun but since we're going to be in this store and it's going to be close quarters I think I'm going to have to use it there's a baseball bat that would be cool but no Alright, here we go. Wish us luck. I probably should have gone in crouched, ready to stealth it around. That was a good one. You have any more stories like that? How much time you got? Huh. Yeah, I have a few. Let me see. Who? Can't see anything, that's not good. That stupid light. Whoa! Dude, what are you firing? Stupid boy. I still haven't been found yet. 
Nice sneaky headshot. Maybe. There we go. Alright, well, it's on now. Thanks, Preston. Yeah, maybe I'm better off with the dog. Oh, okay, yeah, traps. Watch out for traps. Now, since I'm limited on ammo and some of these weapons, I'm going to go around and take what I can. How much, how much weight do I have? Not much, not since I put that rocket launcher. Come on, I killed someone else around here. Where are they? fires in a straight line so as long as I don't go in front of it I'm okay. Let's have a look around what we got in here that we can take. Oh, was that the main person? I think it was. Well that was the main the main leader but there's still a lot of people here. So that's fine we'll just keep going through and clearing everything out. Alright, come on. Stop causing trouble. There we go. I've done this hundreds of times. You see any different? Strengthened lever right leg. Let's go ahead and check this out. Start equipping some of this stuff that's better for me. No way I'm cracking this. Lock's really strong. So I can't get in there, that's not good. Getting tired yet? Yeah, this guy's not too bad in combat. We make a nice team. One more person apparently live around here somewhere. You're still alive? Christ! All mine. I'm gonna start using that more, it's so good. Okay. Well, I have a feeling that was that was everything. That was pretty easy. Master safe. But what we'll do is we'll keep going around. Clear the rest of this place out in case there's anything useful. much. This is annoying. I've got to get rid of some of this stuff. Three piece suit. Do I need that? No, I do not. So, I'm pretty sure that takes me to the roof. I don't want to go up there. So, a quick look around, see if there's anything else useful. Messed up these guys nice and easy. 
That wasn't too bad, actually. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Old teddy bear there. Reading the Boston Bugle. Alright, well. Since we're done here. I bet that'll fetch more than a few caps. I wonder how much the desk fans are worth. Because I see quite a few of them around. And they're always still working, which is the weird thing. Little trap there. I'm okay though. Don't need to worry about it too much. Alright, well. That was nice and easy. Too easy, in fact. I'm going to heal up and then we're going to head back to that uh, camp and see if there's a reward. See if we've got any more cooked food. Now, I want to point out I did find a magazine that increases the healing done by fruit and vegetables, so that's something I'm going to have to find more of and cook with and be a bit more effective. But yeah, that went quite well. Went quite well. Now there's another building trick I would like to show you, but we'll do that a little later. First, let's head back. There's also that new settlement we're supposed to be able to build on. Might check that out in a moment. So that's why we want a nice sniper rifle. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it. And we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Sweet. So if more people join the Minutemen, my group, my faction, grows. Hey, what do you need? What now? I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Okay, so this... So this is actually another settlement I can build on. Okay, might make a little outpost out here. I could do a workbench to work on. So let's head back to... Back to here. Quickly break some stuff down and then we're going to go back out and show you a new building trick that I found. I say I found I found it on Reddit. Yeah. Jesus. What the hell's that doing? Alright, anyway, weapons. My 10mm pistol I kinda wanna modify if I can. I don't know if I can. Oh god, I can actually do everything, but I'm gonna need gun rank one gun nuts. Advanced receiver. Okay, that's really nice. So really what I want from this gun is to just make it more damage. So I'd say the hardened receiver. All these require gun nut, that's something I want to invest in at some point. I'll give it a bit more range, but it'll increase the weight as well. Honestly, I'm not really using this weapon to snipe, so... Increases the accuracy a little bit. I'm 
what else can we do? I don't want to use nuclear material on that. Yeah, so I didn't any gun nuts. I made a mistake and picked up the other one, but doesn't matter. So we got the sniper rifles, we got bolt action. See a bolt action rifle wouldn't be too bad. Can I modif modify that a little bit? I could, but I'll look at it later. So I use the short hunting rifle at the moment. It's not as much damage as this one with the bayonet on the end. Was that the one I modified? No, okay, here we go. So we're going to re rename this. Now, a little tip I've read is to do a little dash at the style, put it at the beginning. But I want to write down what ammunition I'm using as well. And we're just going to call this... Um, we'll call it a trusty sidekick. Okay, what else? We'll scrap the... Uh, in fact, can we modify these? Uh, yes, we can. So the weight isn't too much, but the damage we can do to this is quite nice. Steel adhesive leather. That one looks the coolest, but... Target bleed, better damage. Armor piercing, better damage. Superior damage. Target bleeds, exceptional damage. So honestly, I don't need to worry about... I don't think I need to worry about any of the others. We'll just go for the max damage because I'm going to need it when I'm sneaking on someone. If I'm sneaking on someone and I'm going to hit them and they're armored, I'm going to use a gun to their face. It's not. So let's go ahead and make that. Let's rename that too. I don't. I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep it bladed knuckles. If anyone's got a, a, a name that I can use for this, let me know. Let me know. I already have one of them. Can't afford to build any of that just yet. It will come eventually. I don't think I really care about the bayonet, but you know what? Oh, it actually removes the range. Superior bash, inferior range. Honestly, I'm not using this close quarters. So I'm going to take that off, give it a bit more range. I'm just going to... I need a name. I need to name for all my guns. If anyone's got any idea, let me know. Right now, I'm just going to give them these like basic names, stick them at the top, so I know what I'm going to use. We've got the sniper rifle here, but I'm thinking of changing that up at some point. Can I modify the shotgun? The shotgun's always been very nice. Make it a bit lighter, it is very heavy at the moment. Or we could make it do a lot more damage. But the uh, damage upgrade for that isn't really that great, although the hardened receiver is actually really nice. Look at that. Yeah, I need gun nut, man. Okay, so we're just going to leave that. And I'm just going to scrap whatever else I've got. Missile launcher, I'm sure that's going to be helpful somewhere, but for that weight. The value is really nice, though. I could sell it. 
I don't get much for breaking it down, so we'll sell that. Another settlement has sent word that they need our help. Here's where they are. I hope you can help them. Oh, them so. Can so one weapon I actually do need to pimp up a little bit would be the default. This. Again, that's something I'm going to need to get gunned up for. Question is, do I want to use my bits and bobs on this? That gives it some really nice range. But this is going to be more of a pistol use close quarters, spam on people. Reload faster or that's eh, I don't this needs any upgrades to be honest. Okay. So we'll leave that be. But let me just go ahead and re-equip all this. Now I do want to show you guys. Okay. So for this, let's head to let's head to the Red Rocket Truck Shop. Now again, this is using the console. I wouldn't even call this a cheat though, and it is kind of fiddly. So I'm going to show you with a nice, easy example. What is it? When we first met, I admit I had my doubts about you, but you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Why do you care so much what happens to the Minutemen? When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. It can't have been all that, Rosie. I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know, the politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it. Keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything. I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. Well, why are you telling me all of this? I guess I'm just trying to say thank you, if that makes any sense. That's a long way to thank say you thank you. being different than most everyone else I've run across. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Anytime, Preston. Thanks, man. We'd probably better get back to it. I'll tell you what's wrong with the common one. Alright, so. As you can see, we're at the Red Rocket, and if you look here at this door, I've got a nice wooden panel in there blocking it off. And as you can see, there's no clipping. It's not coming out the sides or anything like that. And let me show you how I did that. So, I'm going to block this door off as well. First thing we need is a, an object to place. As soon as it loads up, there we go. So I'm just going to use a wooden wall. Now if we just push it, put it in position to get a rough idea what it's going to look like. I'm probably going to want it about there so you can't see the tiling inside, so it's going to be about there. And I can move it left and right, just have a look. Just make sure enough it's going to clip through. And of course there's a lot of holes in the fence, so you may want to move it around until you've got a good idea where you want it to be exactly. So let's say there, so we're going to move it back until it's not clipping anywhere, place it down, close out of the workshop menu, and what you want to do is bring up your console, click 
on this wooden wall to get the ID. Now, depending on what you click, you can have different names. Make sure you clicked on the right thing. You want to double check this because doing it wrong is going to mess up. Then you want to type in, now ignore all this, this was me testing and trying to remember what the code was, but uh, these aren't it, so don't use these commands. It's actually mod POS and then your axis that you want to move it on. So we're going to try the Y axis. I'm never 100% sure, but you can always move it back and forth. And then minus 10. Uh, it's either going to be a positive or a negative number, depending on which direction you're going. All right, so that moved it uh, towards me a little bit. So let's just keep using that. I'm doing it in small increments, makes it a bit easier. And as you can see, I'm moving it around. And it's clipping into the wall, which is good. Now I believe it's the X axis. And I probably want to make it minus 10. There we go, it's coming in a bit. It's gone over what I wanted it to do, so we're just going to sort of keep fiddling. Bring it forward now with the Y axis. Now what I'm going to have to do is just keep shifting a little bit. Bring it in, there we go, and then switch over back to the X axis. I only want it to move a little bit now. There we go. Now, as you can see, it is in the doorway. It's lined up how I wanted it uh, to be. Just to make sure though, we're going to quickly uh, edit it one more time. Make sure I'm clicked on it. And we're going to change the Z axis, which is up and down. And negative will move it down. So we just want to move it into the ground a little bit. Just make sure there's nothing sort of sticking up. And done. And as you can see, that's now clipped into a worldly object. And if I go around here, just make sure it's not clipped through the wall anywhere. Nope, looks spot on. In fact, if I... I'm still highlighting it. If I keep moving it down a bit... Let's do it a bit bigger. There we go. I want to make sure it's not going to mess uh, with the top and basically come down. But if we move it down there, you can see through. And again, with this side, I did this on purpose just so I can look out through that little hole if need be. But yeah. Nice and easy, and it's a good way of getting objects to clip into stuff. Again, it's fiddly. It might be something you want to bind to a, a macro just so you can press one key to do it. But if you're trying to find place stuff, it works quite well. And again, the command is mod, pass, one word, and then whatever axis, X, Y, or Z. And then it's either going to be a positive or a negative number, such as minus 10 or just 10. And uh, that's it. I'm sure at some point someone's going to release a mod that will allow me to do this without having to mess with console commands. But until then, this is probably the best workaround I've found so far. I know you can place stuff on top of uh, rugs and try and get them in position like I've been trying here. But it's really fiddly and a bit of a pain. But this seems to work quite well. Anyway, I hope that helped some of you out there. I know it certainly helped me. And that's it for now. Till next time.